So I like to say now that you are experiencing it here, you're actually joining a very exclusive club. Because it's not everybody in the world that can come to Brennan's and have the bananas fossil where it was invented. So as a member of that club, you now have bragging rights for the remainder of your lives, right? So the next time you offer to anywhere else in the world, now you have the right and the obligation to say, no thank you. I've had it at Brennan's. <laughs> and if they know anything about the restaurant business, they know exactly what it's all about, right? In the pan here, we start with a little butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And we have begun by melting that butter, incorporating the brown sugar, making a basic caramel sauce. So the year was 1951. And the dessert is actually based on a breakfast dish. And the way it came about was back in 51, Owen Brennan, who is our original owner, was best friends with a gentleman named Richard Foster. And Mr. Foster was promoted to the crime commissioner of the Bucare, and he was coming in one evening to celebrate that promotion. Owen, being the friend that he was, really wanted to honor him by putting a special dessert on the menu. So he commissioned his younger sister, Ella Brennan, to come up with a new dessert, but he only gave her two hours before the supper was to begin to come up with a new dessert. And as you know, Miss Ella was extremely busy that afternoon. She did not have time to sit down with Chef come up with the proper dessert. So she, she was in a panic. She didn't know what she was gonna do until she noticed a plethora of bananas in the kitchen that sparked the memory of a breakfast her mom used to make for them as kids by sauteing bananas in brown sugar and serving alongside soft scrambled eggs. Ms. Ella said, you know what? I really enjoy that breakfast. I bet it would make a great dessert if I simply add a little rum to it, a little banana liqueur, I'll serve it over vanilla bean ice cream instead of eggs and call it dessert. Well, thankfully for all of us, as usual, she got her way right later that evening. That breakfast did appear on the menu as dessert. And little did she or anyone else know it would become a world famous dessert. Now we flambe over 45,000 pounds of bananas a year. That's how popular it is. All right, so we're going to make magic happen. We're going to flambe a little dark rum. So you're gonna to wanna to switch over to slow motion because the frame is just more impressive when you film it in slow mo, yeah? A little dark rum in the paint, here we go. So the flame is actually continually to gently cook the banana. And it's burning off the alcohol. All right, so bananas are going to come up for us. I'm still burning off the alcohol, it's still smelling. <laughs> Our flame got cut. amazing how something so simple can be so decadent and delicious, right? But how can you wrong how can you wrong with butter and brown sugar, right? With some rum. Alright folks. I present Thank you. Yes, you are so welcome. Y'all enjoy it. Thank welcome you. to the club. <laughs> You're so 